What's up, family? Welcome back to Hill to Go to Row. Hope y'all having a good day. I got some channel messages for y'all or whatever. This reading ain't supposed to be long. If you knew what it do, my name's Shay. Nice to meet you. Um, if you're a returner, I really love and appreciate your pre sorry. I really love and appreciate your support. Okay. But we're gonna get right into it. Um I might um I don't know. Let's see. Before I got on here, I was getting something about a chain smoker. So someone here is smoking a lot. So they're just asking you to slow down a bit. Okay. You don't have to stop cold turkey, but just slow down. Slow down. Something about your lungs is very significant here. I'm hearing something about oh your lungs collapsing. Also, too, if you're smoking laying down, don't do that. Cause I'm seeing someone here smoking laying down. Okay. I'm also seeing someone here with dreadlocks. They could be really big, okay? But anyways, there may be something you're afraid of. Something you're afraid. I don't know. I'm getting the energy of fear. Being in denial about something. Feeling grief surrounding something. But I have desperate for love here. So this could be you or someone else, okay? Um, keep in mind, my reading is around healing. You know what I'm saying? So even if a little drama do come up, I always give you advice to... Like, it's always going to be something in here for you to implement to help you around the situation is what I'm saying. I don't like to keep people stuck in, like, low vibrational energy because that's not, it serves no purpose. It serves nothing but dark purpose. So, uh, I'm not, yeah, I ain't on that. I want to see people rise. I want to see you guys' vibration rise. I want to see y'all do great. So, let's, you know, be great. Anyways, <laughs> someone here constantly tries to make you feel like you have to work for their love okay so it's like it's almost like you might not realize or someone here in your energy this could be someone you're giving advice to they may or may not realize that um that they're actually desperate for love some people like don't like to really admit that okay sometimes we don't get that love in our household sometimes we don't get that love from our families we don't get that support from our immediate family so we go out in search of it in other people you see what i'm saying and that's not always the healthy thing to do that's probably never the healthy thing to do because when you go to search for things and looking for things in other people you neglect yourself you have to go within and find that within you. You see what I'm saying? And realize that, you know, this comes from a desperate place. And maybe, you know, I'm not saying healing is easy, but I'm, what I am saying is that it's doable. It's all in your mind, okay? So I have the life you're about to live. You earned it, okay? So for some of you guys, you have healed from this energy. Yeah, the death card wants to come out. You got success, relationships, okay somebody could definitely have regret surrounding you or this is the energy it's like i feel the energy of here here it's two groups some of you are realizing these energies aren't healthy that we just discussed and you're learning how to stand in your power and walk away from situations that no longer serve you for others of you you've already done this and it's like um you're about to walk into success based off of you taking control and making the necessary steps to live life in the best way you can possible you see what i'm saying and then i feel like for y'all that's coming out of this energy that's healing from it or you guys are going to be walking into the same energy so it's like um just find where you are on the um timeline and make it fit either way that's good energy because i just see the energy of healing so i have relaxation here okay so then i and then i put hobbies so i feel like spirit could be telling you to do things that actually make you happy get outside you know go do things get moving i'm getting the energy of get moving literally persevere and then you got um pride self-esteem and adversity have to put this up here somebody here is definitely afraid to be alone especially with the lonely loneliness car upside down know that you're never alone there's always spirits angels ancestors um spirit guys god is always there and i know it's not physical but i'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you based off of experience i, I wouldn't trade the non-physical contact that i have 
with God because it's a spiritually physical thing for me. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel way better and more liberated with our relationship than any relationship I ever had with anybody in this whole world. Anybody. That's facts. So keep that in mind. That may be a message for somebody. That definitely is a message for somebody. Anything I say, it, there's a message in it. So pay attention. I'm here and pay attention. Then I have natal chart here. So something about your natal chart is definitely very significant. I feel like spirit is telling you, you don't know what that is. Look more into what a natal chart is and how it could serve you. If you knew more about it, it'll help you. Um, it'll help you balance something. Because it's like you'll start understanding yourself a little more. And honestly, your natal chart give you um, information like a te- like basically like a tarot reader. A, a, a high vibrational um, tarot or somebody who know what they're doing and you know what they're called to do is what I'm basically trying to say. Your natal chart is like everything. So maybe some of you guys may want to get it red, okay? Then I have 50 shades of gray here and then I got purple. So I was getting 50 shades of gray like the movie or like the theme of the movie, but then I got purple. So it, it, it brought me back to the energy of it's like maybe you were in cycles of illusions and with the purple energy purple talk about royalty purple talk about high vibrational your third eye and your crown chakra type of energy then you got perseverance in the purple here with purpose keep that in mind keep that in mind so i have bound to success so at the end of the day like i feel like whoever i'm speaking to you're gonna be successful at anything you do it's all in and you put your mind it's all in it's like believing in what you put your mind to and actually moving and taking the right steps to make sure that that happens like i'm hearing i'll do what i gotta do i'm hearing that you, you could definitely be that the type of person that's like listen i got a family to feed you know i i want to get it from I, I i didn't come from nothing type energy so i have demolition here a demolition is like ain't that's when they like tearing things down to build them up you know it's funny because when i was channeling on that word i was literally seeing buildings being destroyed that's giving me like tower part energy something that happens all of a sudden out of nowhere but it's 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 done for the good it's done to rebuild it's done to rebuild the foundation because maybe the foundation was rocky okay so this could be definitely um physical or spiritual like you're being rebuilt okay spirit had to break you down to rebuild you up to be a stronger better person more wise um more perseverance i have no projections here so i feel like you're definitely protecting your energy or, or there's an energy around you needing to protect your energy okay because I feel the energy of, like other people could be projecting on you. So it's like, I don't know. I just see a shield around someone. It's like a really, really strong, really strong shield. You could even be doing like mirror magic on yourself. And that all it is is you literally in meditative state in your mind imagining mirrors around you but not in front of you like you can't you're not in the reflection it's like the reflection is on the opposite side and you and it's like a shield of mirrors and you imagine them spinning 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 because whoever project anything on you is going to automatically bounce back off on them because you know a mirror is just a reflection mirrors also um are um portals as well so keep that in mind then you have no projects here so some somebody here you may be working and like i don't know something about projects or it could be the projects you was born in the projects raised in the projects and you got no projects here so it's like i'm getting the energy of it's like um it's like you may feel that they didn't like do no justice in the projects for people and you may want to come back and rectify that you see what i'm saying like for example you maybe grew up in a the project they ain't never really fixed nothing they ain't ne never really do nothing for the community because they was low income the park still looked the same or even worse than when you got um older and it's like you want to come in and transform that energy that's definitely for someone here especially with this death card falling out all these cards been falling. i don't even know what's on the back yet so we're just gonna get into it then you got the sun card here yeah standing up for what's yeah i definitely get that energy here and if not 
something like that physical i feel like this could be like spiritual or something about the mental you going back into your community and transforming the mindsets of the children you see what i'm saying then i have celibate here so someone um here could be celibate you don't have to be or something about you abstaining from something it doesn't necessarily have to be sex i'm channeling that energy and then it says um a virgin again okay so someone definitely could be um celibate you could also be dealing with the virgo you could be a virgo or something about a virgo constellation or virgo energy look in your natal chart i keep seeing the sun card that talk about success happiness um i'm hearing something about love as well okay Speaking of the next bullet, Chris Brown could be very significant as well, or that song version again by Chris Brown could be very significant. And then the next song I have is Fiending for Intimacy. So somebody here could definitely be celibate, or if you aren't celibate, you, you tired of just having sex, you actually want to be intimate with someone. You see what I'm saying? And then I have Fiending for Love here. So I was getting two energies out there. Someone could be Fiending for three. Someone could be Fiending for your love. You could be Fiending for love in general, like support from family from friends generally you see what i'm saying or it's like you could be feeling for someone else's love this don't even have to be a person you know this could literally be like a spiritual connection you could be mirroring someone like spiritually okay and then i have pouring pouring into what pours into you so that's you reflecting that energy back into you and not really giving it to nobody else because you you learning that you know in order for you to move towards the right thing and the right people you're gonna have to heal in the right way and i'm not saying you have to be completely healed to meet said people but what i am saying is you have to have a level of wholeness about yourself god approved i'm hearing that god approved it has to be god approved in order to align with the right energies and with the right people and sometimes it takes you to shed all the time it takes you to shed you can never go into another level the same never listen shed it's talk about like an ongoing battle feeling drained but it's like you still standing up you still with enough you know what i'm saying stay on your ground yeah the sun card keep popping out and it's like this person is looking at the sun paying attention to their creativity look how this is aligning it's literally saying everything i'm hearing something about drain energy or someone wants to drain your success something like that I'm taking all these. I ain't even gonna care. So then you got success granted level. No, you got success access granted, and then you got level. So I'm hearing something about new levels, new devils. You could be a Pisces, cause I was channeling that energy for a Pisces, cause I got a channel that I do all Pisces placements, everything Pisces. So if you have highly aspected Pisces placements, check your natal chart. Or you are a Pisces, you can check that channel out because that's my next video I'm doing after this. So let's get into this energy, y'all. I just want to thank y'all for all y'all love and support. Like, I love y'all dearly because one subscription, one like is one extra reason why I can keep going. <laughs> Honestly, not really. I'm doing this because God told me to. And because I love it. I don't know how, how many times I done said that, but y'all get it. Oh, I ain't even channeled it off. Okay. We got grief here. So you could definitely be something about focus is def, def, um, very significant. Grief says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Boom. It hits points in our channel messages. You got loneliness. It came out in reverse. So I feel like someone here feel very alone is afraid to be alone but there's a need for you to change that energy and transform it because coming out of that energy is going to breed you to success successful relationships you know what i'm saying success within yourself because then you realize you know one thing about it i ain't even gonna lie at some point in my life i did experience this energy i did but i feel I'm, I don't really, I'm not really fond of, and it's so crazy because I, I have a YouTube channel. I'm putting myself out there for the world to see. It ain't no telling who be watching these videos. It's just, I ain't really a people's person like that because, like, I believe in protecting my energy. Like, and 
you'll be like, okay, you're a reader. You tap into it. No, I only read who God tells me to read. I'm not just, I, I don't care about the money. That's not why I do this. I do this to actually help people. And I don't feel like it's fair for you to feel like you just going to come in and play with my top and play with my spirit or try to drain my energy because energy harvesting is real y'all need to understand that whether it's on a small scale or grand scale it exists it exists in your everyday life it exists it exists through sex it exists you could just touch some touch the wrong person and they can put something on you i ain't trying to scare nobody but i'm just letting y'all know to be more cognizant be more Be more discerning and be more protective of your energy, okay? This that's why you got. I'm, I'm getting the energy of preserve here. This say perseverance, but I'm seeing preserve, okay? Something about your self esteem could be very significant. You have I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So realizing the beauty within you and exudes without you. You see what I'm saying? Cause somebody here could definitely be suffering with self esteem issues. And I feel like that could be causing some stagnancy when it comes to this success because there's gonna need there's gonna be a need for you to feel more confident within yourself and when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. This could be possessing gifts like I'm I'm getting I'm seeing the high priestess in my in my third eye. So tapping into un unknown the unknown gifts. This could also be like esoteric knowledge, okay, spirit guide, spirit spiritual guidance. This could also represent someone in your life with this energy. All right, then we got pride here. So this could be you or someone else. It says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So it's almost like staying humble or something about humble beginnings. Uh, remembering where you come from when, you, when you're when you walking into this new life. Or if you already done, you already successful. You're about to reach new heights. You see what I'm saying? And there's a need for you to, to stay humble and realize where you came from. I'm also hearing something about giving back. Because everything that you gain and that relationship that you had with God when you gained it, keep it. Because it's going to keep you grounded. It's going to keep you humble. And we all know if you didn't gain success by praying to God for it, then you didn't get it from God. Take it how it resonates. This reminds me of like two parents thanking God and then their children just happy as hell. They love babies and shit. <laughs> but it took you to go into solitude for this to happen. Low key, I don't even want to read the tarot cards. We already 17 minutes in. Like, I definitely see a lot of healing around relationships here. I just heard spirits say you don't have to. I'm going to just briefly um talk about it because i do got a lot of shit to do today y'all i ain't even gonna count but it says um relationships i am attracting those people who serve my higher good exactly know that once you transform this i'm desperate i'm lonely um what was me victimized energy with this grief here once you get out of that energy you're gonna be straight i see a lot of happiness is in sex uh a happiness and success and then i literally just said happiness and sex so sex life definitely improving whether you you know what i'm saying i feel like you could you could also be pleasing yourself and manifesting through self-pleasure or something about that could be very significant and then i also see you being pleased through sex because you're vibrating on a level where you're not even gonna have sex with nobody that don't fit you or just don't the vibe don't fit or it's like I don't know, something about a change of mindset. If they're saying you now, once you start walking into who you are, it's just going to automatically happen for you. That's why you got the death card here. We already talked about these cards. Literally. Somebody could also be trying to start like a... I'm hearing... I, I just heard a tarot business or something about a uh, spirituality, a spiritual business. You can come out very mysterious, Okay. With the high priestess and a wand in her hand, that's a lot of fucking magic. Something very magical. And it's like, I don't know, I'm hearing poof. Like the sun out, like the sun always shining. Even when you in turmoil, turmoil, you notice that there's nothing dark about this picture. It look like he's standing outside with sticks. Like, damn, I don't been through this. I don't been through that. Woe is me. You know what I'm saying? But the the bright the thing about it is 
his back is turned to all of that. So it's like walking away from that energy. Yeah, you done built it, but hey, sometimes it, 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 sometimes you need to just and look. It's like look, I don't did this, I don't did that, and look at this motherfucker gonna come here and fuck everything up with this death card here. So it's like the energy of transformation, a sudden realization. You see what I'm saying? You releasing certain things. But they talk about you gathering your strength strength, and it's like last man standing type of energy. Like you persevered through it. You could also be receiving a lot of downloads. Because the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess talk about a lot of magical, a lot of um, like cosmic, a lot of crown chakra energy is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I feel like you've been very resilient and spirit is so proud of you. Okay, I feel like you also are inspiring a lot of people. Whatever you're doing, you could be waking a lot of people up. Just talk about freedom and positivity. Just talk about new beginnings, success, being optimistic, being enthusiastic. I mean, enthusiastic. <laughs> but something about enthusiasm. Okay, something could also be very urgent or you could be very needed. Or this transformation that you went through was very needed because I feel like spirit, whoever I'm talking to, you chosen. And if you want my channel, you gotta be anyway. I ain't saying karmic don't watch my videos, but what I am saying is it's like you gotta be chosen. Even if you in this karmic energy, that's why spirit it led you here so that way you can hear energies around that. You see what I'm saying? I ain't judging nobody. Judgment free here. Cause I don't been on some karmic shit before too everybody got their past you see what i'm saying but it's all about growth finding you finding what you love to do and making that work whatever this is it's gonna bring you a lot of money this is to this talk about someone who's who's single here taking care of themselves look look good it's like you're gonna be able to buy yourself things that you didn't before i'm seeing like a lot of like I'm hearing useless money, so now I'm hearing give back. So you're going to be getting a lot of money that you don't even need, okay? You could put some money up for your kid. You're going to have enough to put up for yourself, for your kids, for a rainy day and a rainy day after that. So anything extra, make, it, make sure that you're tithing, okay? Me, personally, I believe in tithing, but not to the church. And just know giving back does not mean that you have to give to the church, if you are a Christian and you do believe in tithing and giving your 10%, you could take 10% of whatever money you got and go buy some stuff and feed the homeless. Go around and, or, or go buy somebody a tent or buy them a hotel for the night. God see all of that. All of that counts. And I'm going to tell you why. You don't really know what them people in them churches doing with that money. It be a lot of time people be going to church and be going through a whole bunch of shit. And I, I know I, I had a church I couldn't go to and say, my light bill, dude, can you help me? Because that's what they're supposed to collect money for. Churches are supposed to give back. Nowadays, churches ain't doing nothing but taking. But that's my opinion based off my experience. If you so happen to find you a good church, good for you. Shit. But I got moving on here. Speaking of. You see, this talk about abandoning, walk away, let go of things, and just going on your own travels. This could be physical travels. Or spiritual travels, especially with the high priestess out here. Then you got the hangman, which talk about enlightenment. From feeling trapped, feeling confined, okay? Especially if it was in the reverse. But the hangman could also talk about a lack of direction and needing to release something. Needing to sacrifice something. I feel like you made those sacrifices. That's why they align in here. So making circus, circus. Something about a circus or a freak show. Somebody could be reflecting that energy on you. Because you could definitely be someone that taps into the unknown and they could be very judgmental of that. This could be a reason why you could have walked away from church or religion or something like that. Because something here was exposed based off of research. And, and I don't know, it brought some sort of... I'm hearing like, this video was not supposed to be this long. <laughs> it's okay, I love y'all too. I'm hearing like, um, something about... It unlocks something in the spiritual realm for you. Very beautiful energy. But this talk about the energy that has all the enlightenment that they need, but they stand it upside down, just sitting there. So this could also be you sitting on some hidden hidden talents or sitting on some creativity. 
I don't know. I just get a burst of energy. And then you got the world card, which talk about success, achievement, accomplishment, traveling again. Okay, this also talk about completing cycles. Something about a portal here. I don't know. Something about a portal, your portal. I'm also getting the vagina, the womb. Feminine energy could be very significant. Yeah, I don't really see no masculine energy out here besides these two energies. So... I also get there could have been a masculine energy holding you back, whether you female or masculine, or something about your masculine energy n needing to be redefined or something like that. It's like something needed to be balanced, and it has a lot to do with masculine energy or your masculine energy or something like that. Yeah, literally, balance. No more juggling, okay. I feel like you have a lot of financial decisions that you're you're about to be walking into or you have to make. I definitely see you walking out of the energy of financial stress if you are going through financial stress because I see God, you know, shining the light on your creativity and what you could do to bring that abundance in. You went from nine pentacles to 11. Well, really nine to two. So it talks about a, um, a, um, a loss. But I don't see a loss, especially with this card here. And like I said, I ain't even see, bro, look. You got taking a leap of faith. You went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress, and I said something about your creativity. The food card talk about originality, okay? It could also talk about the energy of youth, feeling youthful or something bringing you back alive or something about the youth. You could also be working with children, or want to work with children this talk about investments and things that's coming into fruition because hard work pay off off this talk about harvest as well reaping the rewards of the seeds that you've sown physically spiritually this also talk about manifesting inheritance whether you're getting this or leaving this because i said you're going to be making a lot of money by yourself and i feel like you aligning with this energy is, is helping you to manifest love it's like you see, I'm hearing something about seeing the beauty in me. It's like you realizing something. You got the Empress, then you got the Temperance card, balanced. Standing up for yourself. You already talked about that. Leadership, taking control of your own life. Beautiful energy collective. Hopefully y'all appreciate this video. Don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you feel called to. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Um, any information as far as booking will be in the description box. And I just want to remind y'all how much I love and appreciate y'all. Like for real. Y'all got this. Whatever timeline you on, this is really beautiful energy. I do see a big shift, okay? Appreciate yourself. Appreciate more small things around you. And you will be amazed as to, like, you just, like, realizing, okay, thank you, God, for just having ears or water or lights. Because, look, somebody somewhere going through a situation where it's like, they could be experiencing bad weather and they don't have either so it gives you a chance to be able to appreciate appreciate smaller things because it make you realize okay these little things in my life add up to what's going on in my life and my experience right now what's the best experiences am i having or where could i have them you can experience good things just by walking outside. Anybody can. Everybody loves nature. You might not like bugs. Okay, everybody might not like nature, but nature is really good for the soul. It's good for the spirit. All I'm trying to say is be appreciative of the small things because those small things add to big things. You go from two to seven to nine. I love y'all. See y'all later. Bye.